Hi guys, welcome to the recap of the sixth episode of Luke at the Beginning. For the cast list of this episode, please check the description. The last episode ended with Geo entering into the human tech facility, and San opening the door into the lab, and offers him to enter, if Geo manages to defeat him. Geo almost beats him, but San manages to knock Geo unconscious. They take Geo into the lab. When Ru Junquan goes to heal Geo from the many wounds San have given him, Chosa stops Junquan suggesting to check his ability to heal himself. Chosa meets with another scientist and asks him to make several clones of Geo's somatic cells. He even asks him to keep it a secret, even from Ru Junquan, if he wishes to live after the research is over. Meanwhile, Captain Choi has taken Gu Rum to the interrogation room. He asks her where Geo is, but she tells she doesn't know. Captain explains that he knows she works with him, since one of the nuns in the church has testified that Gu Rum and Geo visited the church together. Gu Rum continues to deny and Captain leaves her in the interrogation room. Leaving Gu Rum in the police station, Captain Choi and Detective Kim goes to her home to see if Geo is there. But instead they find the investigation map Gu Rum has created. The captain again confront Gu Rum showing her photos of the investigation map and takes her to have a drink. While they are drinking, he asks if she's looking for her parents. He tells her that the case has expired, so even if she finds the criminals, she won't be able to punish them. He tells her to let go of her parents and the culprit without ruining her career. She breaks down into tears and tells him that even if she had to leave the job, she'll start a private firm and start investigating. So hopelessly Captain Choi tells her that he'll pretend he doesn't know any of Gurum's background and the fact that she's investigating her parents' case. He'll delete all the photos he have of her investigation map. In return he advise her not to get caught, because if she does, he won't be able to protect her. Back in the lab, once Geo regained consciousness, Ru Junquan introduces himself as his father. He tells Geo that he was the one who left him with Ha Young Jae so willingly. When Geo asks if he's the one who killed him, Junquan tells him to endure what is yet to come and fills the room with a poisonous smoke that makes Geo unconscious. They then take him to an experimenting chamber and tie him onto an electric bed. While Geo's unconscious, Ru Junquan, Kim Cholsu and Huang Jung are get together to discuss about what should be done with Geo. Apparently Jung Ah and Junquan are his true parents. Jung Kwon tells them that there are a lot of impurities in Geo, so first they have to remove them before cloning. For that they'll pass electric shocks to him. They start with the experiment when Geo regains consciousness. Jung Kwon not only pass electricity to clean him up, but to see how much electricity he can withstand. Even when Geo plead to stop, Jung Kwon continues with the shock and when cardiac arrest occur, they do CPR and bring him back to life. The process continues and Geo's screams spread throughout the lab. While Geo suffers in the lab, Gurum continues with her investigation, and we see the two in the same routing, even after three weeks. Gurum notes that the electric bill human tech gets is pretty high for a two-story building. She consults about the bill and get to know that much power is enough to power a 20 or 30 story building. The consultant also says that they might be having high power refrigerators if the building is only two story. Gurum goes to the human tech facility and asks the researcher to show her the fridge that uses the high current. She tells him to take her to the basement and sees the fear in his eyes. She starts to search the place, and the researcher smash a flask onto her head. 
She beat him up and gets him to take her to the lab. In the lab, everyone prepares to finally kill Jio. Chol Su and Jung are watch from a TV with excitement. Jungkwon tells Jio that they extracted everything they need from him and created embryos of his clones. Jio challenges to try killing him because he won't die until he kill them all. Jungkwon tells the other researchers that he wants to kill him since he's Jio's father. He goes to him and tells that Jio is the living proof of Jungkwon's superiority over others. So instead of injecting the lethal injection, he injects the one that gives super strength and tells him to run away. Jungkwon tells the others that it'll take a few minutes to work on him. Once the drugs settle in his body, he wakes up with super strength and destroy everything. On seeing the destruction, Jungkwon, Jung H and Cholsu are escorted out by Yuna. He goes to Jungkwon's office and sees the embryos in bottles. He sees the empty bottle with his name, and the episode ends with Jio screaming out Ru Jungkwon's name in rage. So that's it for this video guys, that's the end of episode 6. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comments. I'll bring you recaps of the other episodes as well, so make sure to check them out. Please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this. I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.